Epstein, and here we are with the Morning Flash Update. And this update is for Wednesday, the 6th of March, 2024, at the time just after 8 p.m. Central Time. You wouldn't even know you had a break in the stock market yesterday. It's all back up today. Gold still staying well bid at 21.45, making a little bit more ground back in silver. It lost to gold yesterday. The dollar is down 31 points right now. As we're looking at uh, foreign currencies, trying to put on something of a rally against the dollar, you're back over the 67 level in the Japanese yen. And these markets, too, have been fighting like this, back and forth, looking for their direction. We have the bonds and notes up slightly this morning. Basically a flat market in the grains, up a bit for a change in a Brent in crude. No progress being made at all uh, between Israel and Hamas. Uh, Hamas's demands remain. Israel pulls out an entirety out of Gaza. They will not deliver any of the lists at this point in time of the hostages they have. It acts as though they're winning the war. Okay, you know that you know what the end result of that's going to be. Ramadan is just days away, and Israel said on the 10th they are going in. I don't know if they will or won't. World pressures will be there, but uh, they're getting nowhere with this. And, you know, it's very difficult when you don't get another side that uh, still thinks they have the upper hand. It doesn't work that well. Uh, obviously, what they're scared of is annihilation. They want Israel out of there so that whatever forces they have left, they keep that's one way to look at it. All right, now let's look at some of the data today because it's loaded with it. The mortgage market numbers jumped everywhere. 9.7% on the index itself, up 10% on the purchase index, 8% on the refi. So March here, end of February, warm weather, people coming out. ADP, this is interesting, 140,000 jobs. They expected 150, but if you take a look, they, uh, the annual pay went up 5.1% if you stayed where you're at. If you change job, you made a little more than that. The goods jobs went up 40. Services went up 110, but I don't see how that adds up to 140, but we'll see what they did, but I'm, I'm taking their numbers. Fed Chair Powell, he's going to speak in a few minutes starting at 9 o'clock. I can't imagine he deviates in any manner from what he has said so far, which is the data is going to decide what the Fed's going to do. We get the January wholesale inventories at 9 as he stopped speaking, but here's a jobs number that everybody's going to look at, the jolts, the labor turnover, how many jobs are out there being offered. So we're not seeing weakness out of ADP, I don't think so, and they revised up, by the way, the January number by a few thousand jobs. We're going to get the, phase, uh, the Fed beige book, that's going to come out this afternoon at 1, and in between all this at 9.30, petroleum stocks. Another ship, by the way, was hit today, from what I understand, uh, off the coast of Yemen. So, you know, who keeps sending those ships beyond me because they keep doing everything they can. The cables were mysteriously cut, so data's being lost, and so on and so forth. Therefore, this is a big week. We are looking to see what goes on there. In between, you get the Bank of Canada telling us what they're going to do in their policy. They're widely expected to sit tight. The Brits are going to be releasing one part of their budget, and apparently there's going to be a payroll tax uh, cut there to try to get some votes and take the pressure off some of the Brits. Uh, we get at the uh, tomorrow, the European Central Bank, their announcement, what they're going to do. Again, another bank that's widely expected to sit still. But back and forth, no question, whipsaw action. It's market after market. So why? Because the markets know this is an important time. This is either longer, higher for longer, or if you start seeing cracks in the jobs report, especially Friday, maybe it's the first step that June is a more likely target. Right now, I think that June bet, while the market's betting on it uh, with a fairly big bet that that's when it's going to be, so far these numbers aren't saying June. We'll see what the Fed has to say. I'm I. Rapstein. I will talk to you all at the end of the day. You have a good trading day.